Nice bird. Welcome back to the Golf Place Rust YouTube channel. Today it is March 29th, 2024. We're out at the Oaks Golf Course here in Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. It's 9.15 a.m. and it is 32 degrees out. With me today is Dustin. He is also known as the Polish Prince. And the format we are playing today is a chaser format. Dustin is approximately 25 handicap. I'm approximately a seven handicap, so I have a 18 stroke advantage generally uh, when I play against Dustin. So I'm starting Dustin out at 18 under par, and I am gonna try to catch up with him over the course of the round. What I'll say is I'll probably have to play almost perfect to catch you, I think. Your goal is to break, what's your goal to shoot today? Uh, in 90, 90 to say, in the 90s, but in ideally the 90s. in the 90s. So his goal is to break 100. My goal, I'm going aggressive to start of the year, is to break 80. Very cold temp temperatures, <laughs> so quite a big challenge for me. Yeah, so I want to set some other quotas for this round real quick. Target score, 80 or below. Seven fairways in regulation, nine greens in regulation, a maximum of 32 putts, a short game index of 2.4, or below and we'll talk about that a little as we go through the video a maximum of one double bogey a maximum of one penalty stroke and at least one birdie we're gonna get this going out here at the oaks enjoy the video here we go hole one it's a short par four from here it actually only plays about 290 but it's a dog leg to the right really i just want to leave it short of the traps that are uh, straight away down here at the end of the dog leg got a four iron i'm just going to try to lay it up out there nice shot all right it's safe in the fairway shot russ Thanks. All right, I, I don't have the fine touch that uh, Mr. Russ has, so I'm going to go with what I know, which is driver. For me, again, trying to mitigate huge mistakes and OB, and pretty much aim for the sand with the intent of not to actually get it in the sand. Well, Good news is I hit my target, but uh, not too much. All right, here we go. So I'm on a diet, so I'm not drinking right now, but uh, except for Saturdays. So Heather and I decided we're gonna do this diet, gonna work on losing weight over the course of really April. We did this last year, and the big difference is this year, we're allowed to drink on Saturdays. So it's a Friday right now, so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. My second shot here on hole one, about 110. I've got a gap wedge. Gonna wanna try to keep it between the front of the green and the pin if possible. I'll be all over it. Now that's a divot right there, kids. I don't think that's mine. All right, gonna try to play it a little bit high. Hopefully it runs down, get her close, set up for next next putt. Take it. Yeah, nice shot. All right, so birdie look for me down the hill, about 20 feet. It is quite a bit steep. I think it's gonna break from left to right, maybe about a half a foot. Sorry, you're gonna break right to left about a half a foot. Play this out to the right side. Biggest thing here, make sure we get down for par. Little three foot tester for par to start here. All right, looks like a pretty straight shot. I uh, did not do any warm up putts, so we'll see how this goes. Gonna try to aim a uh, center pin here. I don't think there's anything tricky about it. Just can't get too crazy on the distance. Ooh, way past it. Wow, that's what I was afraid of. Wow. Breaking out the muscle here. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Hole two, par three, 
127. Pin looks like it's right in the middle of the green here. Got a pitching wedge. Move the ball off to the far right seat side of the tee box because we've got these trees that kind of hang out over the hole on the left. So we're gonna line it up to this side. See if we can get another green in regulation here. Cut a little. Nice shot. Damn. Hopefully that's with inside 10 feet. Ooh, send it. Hang on. Hang on. I am off to back. Two holes, two greens in regulation, and it looks like we have a pretty good chance at birdie. Probably inside of six feet for pulling up at it. Ho hopefully Dustin's able to recover his. Yeah, I oh, see Oh, we it. see it back there. Interesting uh, look from back there. Here we go. Hey guys, Russ here. Quick interruption. Just want to say thank you to all our new subscribers. If you are enjoying this content, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Lastly, turn on that notifications bell to get alerted when we drop new videos, just like this one. All right, back to the golf. Mark mine. God dang it. Well, I'm putting. Get there. Yeah, got a little camera shy after the first one. Sixer? Yeah. Okay, so first off, I missed the birdie putt on hole two there. Failed to hit the record button. Dustin ended up with a triple bogey six on that hole. I ended up with a par. Dustin is now at 13 over. I am still at even par. Yeah, the chase is on, I'm coming. All right guys, hole three, first opportunity for me to take driver today. Wide open on both sides. Just gonna grip and rip. A little out of balance, but that's smoked. Right down the middle. And I sliced it opposite fairway. It's open. So I didn't see Dustin tee off. It's just the two of us today. So we're running the new camera that I bought in the off season here on the side sometime. So he said he sliced it out to the right. I'm sure you guys saw that on the video as well. Dusty, how you feeling about the golf game so far this year? Um, I'm a much better uh, virtual golfer than I am a real golfer, I figured out. I'm playing well uh, the other night for our ex golf and came out here ready. I mean, I hit a, hit a couple of good shots, but uh, every hole so far, I, Trying to minimize mistakes and I have not. Thinking it's gotta be one of these. Yep, hit a fairway, just not the right one. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. This is a par five. I probably didn't mention that on the tee. I ended up being about 240 out. There's a trap that guards the green uh, and that's 192. So rather than going for it, I'm just gonna take my five iron, try to lay it up, put myself in a position to hit another green in regulation. That is not what we wanted to do. Off the cart path, way left, potentially out of bounds. All right, 112 yards out here. It's actually pretty firm sand. Try to uh, try to pick her clean. It is a par five. Got to go for the green from here. Got her out. That's all I wanted to do. Got her on the green, I'm putting, happy with that. All right guys, so unfortunately I made the hazard. Unforced air here on hole three. 67 yards, hoping we can maybe stick one in kind of close. I'm gonna move this forward just to make sure it's in frame. Get it on the green, make no worse than bogey here. Oh, it's pulled. But it's on. All right, let's try to two putt, make a bogey. Definitely got scared putting earlier. Better? Tricky look for me. Got about 20, 25 feet. Um, it's gonna break from left to right, uh, and it's a little bit uphill as well. So get ourselves marked here. Do our best to, to two putt from here. All right. We're just 
good. In for bogey, one over after three. All right guys, hole four, another par five, a very birdieable par five. Pretty wide open on both sides. We're gonna swing hard, try to drive this right between the traps. See if we put ourselves in position to get on in two here. Get over the trap. Ooh, that is over the trap. Cart path? Maybe hit the cart path. I think I should have an angle from there. Left side's a little bit better than right on this hole and you're not hitting over the uh, green side bunker on your approach shot. Again, a lot of fairway to work with. Gonna try to uh, aim down to the left just to try to take, uh, play that uh, little bit of a fade, slice, whatever you wanna call it. Man. Clear the trap. Just kinda wanna talk a little bit, go back to hole three a little bit and my decision to take the, the safe shot with the five iron. I'm just really regretting that because I ended up getting a penalty stroke out of it anyway. It's just, sometimes you think I've, I had a good start to my round. I'm gonna play it safe here. That way I don't make a big mistake and put myself in trouble. And then you end up being in trouble anyway. So it doesn't always work out the way you envision. So keep that in mind moving forward, kids. All right, coming up, Dusty's gonna hit first here and then we'll go find my ball after that. All right. Actually, I'm uh, going to try out the 7-1. I'm usually pretty comfortable with this. Got to make up a little bit of distance here on the par 4. Nice ball. Hit it well. All right, guys. First missed fairway of the day. Pulled it out to the left, but I've only got 158 left on this par 5. Pins in the front. Kind of a thick lie here, so just going to try to knock one up close around to the front of the green. Oh no. Yeah, some sloppy swings here. That probably went 50 yards to the right. All right, let's see if we can get it sorted out. All right, 40 yards here. Someone on the tee box behind me, so we're gonna try to keep it down a little bit here. Everything's just going right right now. We'll get it figured out. Nice ball, Dusty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12 and a half, 32, 33 feet. All right, guys, so I did not do myself any favors at all on that chip shot. My last two shots have been absolutely terrible. That one pushed way out to the right, and now I've got to hit it over a, a hump on the screen and try to get it in two putt range so we can save par. I also don't want to have four shots inside of 50 yards because that's going to really have a negative effect on my short game index. Get there. It's going to be a tester. Looks to be just over five feet. Should break about a cup, cup and a half maybe right to left. Need this one. If we're going to break 80. These are the putts like this that we need to make. Good putt. Thank you. I didn't mention this earlier, but I, uh, every uh, birdie putt or birdie made, I was thinking about losing an article of clothing. So I didn't really think I was going to have to do that, and I might not still have to. So we'll see here. Uh, eight foot putt, just like on the first hole. I don't want to blow it past. Since it's eight feet, it's probably closer to four, but well, the Pollocks have been known to double the size yeah, of things. You go bigger, go home. Nice. Shit. Good bird. All right, I'm going to have to take off some clothes. Polis Prince, first bird of the year, and Picks up a stroke. He is now at 12 under, and I am still at one over par with the par save. Hole number five, par three, up the hill. Let's get after it. All right, admittedly, there's a, uh, a lot of flaws to my game. Par threes and irons is uh, just happens to be one of them. So again, gonna line up left on this. Uh, just try to take a good swing, hit it out there, not lose it down the hill. So we'll see how this goes. Good ball. Get up there. 
Just on the front? Yeah, I'll take it, it went straight. All right guys, the story with hole five generally is do what you can to keep it below the hole. This is a pretty steep uphill. If you hit it too long, you can have a really treacherous downhill putt and you're kind of shooting the gap here. It's a fairly narrow green. You go off to the right, it's going way down this hill. There's a big bunker out to the left. I am going to flight down an eight iron. Just try to knock it on. Stay up. I think I'm on. I think I'm gonna have a brutal putt. 50, 60 feet. Right, right on the fringe here. Gonna have to uh, get it up the hill. But all right guys so Dustin's back to 11 over par and I'm still at one over par around number six is t-box here hole six a little bit longer par four Guarded with bunkers on both sides of the fairways. Just gonna try to let one rip right down the middle. See if we can get in range for an easy second shot. Damn it. Big ol' slice. No bueno. No bueno at all. Bad swing. Come around. Yeah, you should be all right down there. All right, guys, bad drive right behind hole 17's green. Got 230 left. A little bit into the breeze, so I'm going to go with a three wood. 180 to clear the creek that's in front of the green, so we just want to make sure we get over that for sure. Piped it. Yeah, it's probably in the trap. I'm almost certain it's in the trap just to the left of the green. 203 to the hole. Got my five wood. Again, just try to hit a good, get a good swing, make sure I don't miss hit it into the, uh, the creek. And I didn't. Take it. I'm gonna run up, take a look at this one. Yeah, okay. So about 30 yards left here. Would love to go up and down, save par, keep us at one under. Go. Yeah, just caught that a little bit heavy as you can see by the divot. Right. A little far to the right than I wanted, but uh, reasonable putt for par. All right, like I was saying, about 15 feet for par here. I think it's gonna break about eight inches right to left. Just pulled it. All right, reasonable par putt. Again, just like the way we've been putting today. Yeah, well, got it close, just not hitting my aim point. All right, hole seven, par three. 170, no, I'm sorry, 165. Pins way off on the right side of the green today. And the wind is blowing across from uh, right to left. I'm gonna take a seven iron and really play it towards the right side. Really just trying to play it to the, uh, the right side of that large bunker that guards the front of the green. Mm, got away to the right. Off the cart path. Starting to struggle a little bit. 
All right, so for me, long par threes. I'm a little more comfortable with my seven wood. A lot can go wrong with my irons. So I'm gonna just try to take an easy swing on here. Try to keep it in play. Hopefully not in the sand trap and hopefully not on the cart path. Come around. <laughs> I just smashed Dustin's finger. Yeah, it's my own fault. When you're the chaser, sometimes those are the things that you yes. need to do to get caught up. So. Not, not, not that he needs it. <laughs> well, the way I played my last couple shots, pretty, pretty discouraged here. Oh, I see mine. Uh, like I always said, this is that part of the round, and that middle part of the round just seems to be a struggle for me. Chance to go up and down here. Let's see if we can get it right. All right, feels like Groundhog's Day here because uh, once again, it's about 40 yards with a sandwich. I'm gonna try to hit this one higher and get it to stop. For some reason, I'm just pushing everything to the right a little bit. Lots of room to work with here. Uh, I want to chip her on a little high, let her run down. Just want to get her on for a good putt here, a good par putt. Good shot. Par putt for me, another poor chip. The short game training has let us down a little bit. Got this breaking uh, right right to left again. That's been all day right to left breaking putts. About a foot and a half here. Want to make sure we two putt no worse than bogey. Oof. All right, bogey four for me. And Dustin's got a little par look here. Nothing too crazy here. Maybe a little bit uh, right to left. Again, just trying to take an easy swing, not blow it past there. If I don't hit it, get a gimme on the next one. Get there. Nope, didn't hit it high enough, but I'll take the bogue. All right guys, hole eight, par four, straight away. It's gonna get uh, start going downhill at about 250. It's gonna try to knock one straight away right out there. I may have missed the fairway left, but should be okay. So that's, I mean, we're dead straight. Straight, right? dead straight, yep. Real close to where I am. No, earlier when I was like warming up, like I, oh. I, I wasn't basically doing what I need to as a uh, athlete and golfer by letting my drinks in. Yeah, no, I understand. I'm not doing what I need to be doing as a golfer athlete by not drinking at all. Yeah, but. that's the golf gods, uh, they frown upon that. That's when uh, snowmen happen. Yeah, then I wonder why I've bogeyed three of the last <laughs> four holes. Yes. Kind of tight for me, just because I'm not a great iron player. So I'm going to take a seven, try to take an easy swing, hopefully not come over on and get it into the shit, not get it into the, uh, the sand trap. So we'll see if we can actually hit the ball straight. Ooh. Caught the tail on that one. Yeah, I had a little bit of the, the lie was killing me here. I should have probably tried to readjust. All right, second shot for me here on hole eight. 138 yards, perfect nine iron for me. And so that's what we got in hand. All right, should be inside 20 feet for bird. About uh, 86 yards out, got a tree to my right, so I guess got to try to hit it back on here. We talked about mistakes, just made another one, uh, miss hit, give myself a terrible second shot. So uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy, just try to minimize the damage at this point, hopefully. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> and the damage has not been minimized. This is my, uh, I think my uh, par shot here. Yeah, so this is for four. Maybe we can sink it. All right, that's on. All right, I'll take that after those other two horrendous ones. 15 feet here, and this is gonna break a, at least a foot um, from right to left. Get in. All Good right, shot. Go. Pretty quota met. Nice putt, good save.
hole nine double dog leg. I'm gonna play, play it right over the edge of the car path here. <sighs> yeah, it's safe up there. It should be fine. It's all cut down right now. Should be okay as long as it didn't go through. It's hot. All right, I was between a six iron and a seven wood here. If we're trying to hit it up the hill, it is a par five. So again, just trying to stay away from uh, getting squirrely and uh, snap hooking it into the wood. So I guess I'm being overly cautious here, but uh, par five, hit it up the hill. It should give me the next, uh, next good shot. Good ball. Yep, carried the trap, perfect. Wow. So I did aim way to the right, and uh, which was perfect because I hit it straight. So if I would actually hit, uh, aim straight, I would have been dead in the woods. So it just worked itself out naturally. All right, guys, 205 yards for me. The line is just to the left of this tree that you see in frame right there. It's a little bit downhill, so got a four iron. I'm not trying to kill it, a little bit of fly or lie. Right is a lot better than left. Should be dead on it. Nice shot. Let's see when we get hole. up there. It might be a little short. All right, little side cam action. Something a little bit different here. Dustin ended up good spot down there. It rolled. I think that's your ball right down in the bottom. So we're both sitting in pretty good shape here. Coming in on our what will be our approach shots on this uh, shorter par five. About 67 out. Gonna try to come in underneath it. Ball well, is above my feet here. Ooh. A little hosel shot. Shot five for uh, for par here. Again, mistakes are not good. Run. Hit it. Fuck. So 51 feet, 17 yards. I think I'm gonna try to hit a little bump and run nine iron here. I, I'm anticipating it should break just a little bit right to left coming towards the hole. But a little bump and run, see if we can knock it in close. That. Right, left it a little short, but we've got that for birdie. Said I didn't want any snowmans today. We're well on our way there for the first one. That's good. All right, birdie look for me. About five feet. Looks like it's straight up the hill. Yeah, we're gonna go right at it. Mmm. That's a par. All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching part one of this two-part chaser video out at the Oaks in Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. Dustin shot a 50, and I shot a 38, meaning I only need to beat him by seven shots to catch him in part two of the video. Taking a quick look at my individual stats, I'm pretty happy with my performance overall, and I might have a chance to go eight for eight on all of the quotas if I keep up this pace. Can I complete the chase and go eight for eight on all of my quotas set for this round? We'll find out in part two of this video coming out soon. As always, guys, Thanks for watching. Peace.